and waking up in Vegas here on Access 104.2 FM. And now I'm joined in the studio uh, by Mr. James Trusson, who's a local musician. Hello. It's great to have you here. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's great to be here, Alice. Thanks for having me on the show. No problem at all. So, a couple of weeks ago, you were at Glastonbury. How was that? Oh, it was amazing. It was one of the best weeks of my life. I mean, uh, the weather was great, which is unusual for Glastonbury. Uh, there was no rain or anything like that. It didn't rain like once. And all the bands were amazing, especially the Rolling Stones, because like, they'd never played at Glastonbury before, so it was such a sensational gig. Great. You didn't get roped in to, you know, standing in for anyone then? Uh, unfortunately not. Uh, I played in the little jam tent with some random people, which is great fun, but it's not really the fear of the stage. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess there's always next year, though. Yeah, well, you never know. Michael Levis, the organiser, might be listening to the show. That would be unbelievable, yeah. wouldn't it? So, uh, on the 22nd of June, I saw you perform at the Life Music Festival in Taunton. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, uh, there were so many great up-and-coming new bands and performers, and uh, it was just a really great day. The crowd was amazing, great weather, and uh, yeah, I had a great time. Yeah, uh, and uh, I thought you were fantastic, by the way, which okay. is why I wanted to get you onto the show and have a little chat. So, for people who maybe haven't heard your music and don't know what sort of style you sing, tell us a little bit about exactly what you do. Yeah, well, I play acoustic songs mainly. I'm trying to blend interesting acoustic rhythms and melodies on the guitar with sort of indie vocals. Right. So, do you write your own songs, or is it covers, or a bit of both? Uh, yeah, a bit of both, really. I mean, I try to play mostly my own material, because you put more into it, because it's your own stuff. But as a member of the audience, it's always nice to like, hear someone you recognise and sing along to. So, yeah, I try and do popular covers and make them my own. Excellent. So, uh, what inspired you to get into music? Was it just sort of there from the start, or...? Well, um, yeah, it's weird, because my parents took me to piano lessons when I was really young, like three. Yeah, my dad's just over there. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah that, that was great. And then um, when I was seven, I started learning the guitar at school. And when I was 13, I started my first band uh, with a couple of classmates. And we played uh, some old rock songs like Oasis and Nirvana and stuff. But uh, we didn't have a singer. So it was, I was playing guitar at the time uh, with my mate. And then there was a drummer. And basically, to choose who was going to sing, we flipped the coin. Uh, well, like three times or whatever, but like rock, paper, scissors, or something like that. And it ended up I was the singer, so it's a bit weird because I never would have got into it if it wasn't for that. So, you're telling me that if that coin did land on your choice, then you may not be talking to me today. Yeah, precisely. Uh, that is amazing, <laughs> yeah. actually. Uh, well, I'm glad you didn't win that coin toss, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so this could be a hard one. So, if you could aspire to be on any artist, who would that artist be and why? Yeah, well, that's a bit of a tricky one, because I love so many different artists and genres. Um, but I've always loved the Arctic Monkeys and Alex Turner, uh, the lead singer and lyricist. Um, he's always inspired me with his lyrics, because they're so relevant to me growing up as a teenager. And they're so clever and witty, like the things he says about youth and stuff. And uh, from a guitarist point of view, I absolutely love Johnny Marr from The Smiths. He's like an absolute hero in my mind. Uh, he writes such beautiful chord sequences and melodies. And he's just amazing. Um, and but from bands, I love bands like Oasis and Coldplay. Make such a big sound, and they're so anthem anthemic, and make a massive like connection with the crowd, which I love. I always inspired to do that as a performer. But overall, I never like really try to be like someone in particular. I try and be my own artist and sort of try and take the good points from their songwriting and their performance and try and bring them to myself. Oh, cool. So. Do you have any sort of big events coming up in the Trust and Calendar anytime soon, like big performances or new songs? Yeah, well, uh, there's lots of exciting stuff coming up for me. Um, I'm currently working towards recording my first solo album. I've got an EP up at the moment, uh, but yeah, I've nearly finished the album, getting a few more tracks done. Uh, I've also just started a new band called The, the Cases, which is going to be great. Um, like one, one of the guys who I'm with is getting through on the X Factor, which is really cool. So he's doing really well. And I'm um, also playing like, with my old band, The Fatigues, as well. So I'm going to get some jamming with them. And um, obviously going to try and be gigging wherever I can. It's going to be great. Excellent. And you go to university, and if you don't mind me asking, what do you study there? Is it music or something a bit different? Yeah, well, I study the Tom Meister course at Surrey, um, which is a bit of a unique course, really. It focuses on the technical engineering side of recording and producing music, really. Um, there's only six places in the world that do it, and only one in the UK, so I really love to be able to do it. But it's great because it mixes all the things I'm interested in. I mean, like the producing side, recording, it's like all the 
physics and maths behind sound, which is cool. So it brings in all that, which I enjoy. Great. I also like the music, yeah. So, out of interest, is it all late night partying, or is there some hard work to be done as well? Yeah. <laughs> well, a bit of both, really. It's either five o'clock in the morning doing an essay, or five o'clock in the morning partying and drinking and stuff. So, there's not a lot of time for sleep and stuff. I guess not. <laughs> I noticed actually, when I was at the festival the other day, you had your own screaming group of girls dying for you to come off the stage and them to have pictures taken with you and stuff. I mean, what's that like? Yeah, well, uh, it's, it's always a good laugh. Uh, it's a bit weird for me because obviously I'm not signed, I'm not like a celebrity, but people always, like, come up to me and say, can I have your autograph? Can I get a photo? And yeah, it's, it's good. But I always really appreciate the support I get at gigs. It's amazing. So. If anyone who's listening who's came to my gigs, just thanks. Thank you. I mean, I haven't quite got that yet. Well, my mum, Nan and Auntie don't really count, do they? <laughs> I'll count that. Yeah, well, there's still <laughs> time, I hope. Yeah. Come on. So, uh, you've got a new song out, which I love, actually. Oh, I've got it on my phone and everything. Cool. But um, am I right in saying it's a bit different than anything you've ever done before? Yeah, it's a bit different. I mean, um, I record and produce all my own music, and it's the first track I've... I've sort of put drums on, uh, which is cool, because uh, most of my other songs are a bit more slow paced and I just put light percussion like shaker and tambourine like here with the song that's going to be played. Uh, so yeah, it's really great to like get more production done and I'm just always trying to improve my production and yeah, it's, it's great, so that's an example of that. So it's called Pretty Sounds, what's that all about? Is the song about something in particular? Yeah, well, basically I wrote it during exam period as a bit of a moan against revising because <laughs> I was really fed up. So I said one day I'm going to go out, have a night off. So me and my friends just chilled out and uh, we listened to music and it really like took the edge off at the time. So I was like, oh, I'm going to write a song about this because we've been playing great music and that's where Pretty Sounds came from. Excellent. Well, I'm going to play one of your older songs now. Um, but first, thanks for joining me on the show. Yeah, no worries, it's been great. It's been great to thanks have you here, and you're welcome back any time. Oh, thanks. So, uh, but actually, before you go, you have to make me a little promise, all right? So, uh, basically, the promise is, if you go off and become, like, a proper celebrity, you have to come back on the show and have a chat with me again. Deal? Of course, of course. Excellent, I'm glad of that. <laughs> all right, then, so uh, this is one of uh, James's oldest songs, and it's Before You Go by James Trussum. <laughs> 